Okay guys, new video we're making today. Uh, I got a in-game tell. Had uh, an interesting conversation um, with someone saying that the video so far, I keep saying how necros can do things that groups can do, but I've just been showing camping single spawns that are blues and yeah, I get that. So um, he or she asked if there's something there's a video I could put up that actually looks like I'm doing something other than uh, wiping out light blue mobs. And I get that criticism. So I said, all right, um, there's a, there's group quests, you know, that at the end of all the progression for the different expansions and, you know, I'll knock one out real fast. Um, the one that this video is for uh, the summoning of Droga. Temple of Droga. Um, pretty sure that's what it's all called. Let's go through here on progression. Um, it's, you know what, let's just get started. That, that'll be a lot easier. So, um, same as always, my guild hall buffs, buffed up pet. Um, We're going to accept this mission, uh, and go into the instance of the Temple of Droga, and we're going to try to solo it. Um, it's, it's pretty difficult. I've, I've cleared it a few times. Um, usually, it's, I'd say, 25% chance of a wipe, so 75% chance success. It's, it's got a lot of rooted mobs in the beginning that you just got to grind through. Uh, the whole time, the, the priest, I think is what it is, of Droga, is casting this like zone-wide damage, which is fine, but it keeps kind of, it hits your pet, and your pet wants to run off. So, you know, we'll, um, we'll go through it now. So we're going to zone in uh, very near the area and just get after it. Um, I, I don't think this is a quest that people do solo. I think this is a group thing. So I think this is a good way to show off what can necromancers do. So we zone in, run up, and there'll be these rooted priests. And we've got to clear them because otherwise they will affect us when we're fighting um, the main boss at the end. So we just nuke them all. Um, we want, there's part of this that is like killing for time. And I don't think I've ever been successful with that part of this quest. Uh, but, um, you know, that's why I just spam through this as quick as I can. Maybe on that off chance that I do get lucky and get the uh, achievement of time. So I go ahead and move on to the next one before the first one is dead because I said there's a guy up there, High Priest, he's casting this zone-wide thing and it's aggroing my pet. My pet will run off you know, and cause a lot of problems if I don't either back it off or keep it under control uh, by using attack on the next one. So you can see this is just just to go through the motions. Kill them all. You know, at 115 there, light blue. Um, so it's not impossible. I just uh, think this is a good example of something that groups do that a single necro can do instead. You notice my hit points are down to 80. My mark just brought me back up, but that's that zone wide thing that's going on. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, I drew aggro. So that's without tilt world. It's the effect from 
from the priest of Droga there. Uh, all of the goblins in this zone do that tilt a will when they um, hit you for the first time. So we clear these mobs and then we'll go up this ramp. Um, there's a, there's some more warrior type droga goblins up there. We just keep clearing them all till we get up top and we go after the high priest. And I will add some more commentary as we move to the next area. This is just a, as I often say, grind. I'll let my pet and my merc handle that down there. There's the first warrior. There's a handful of them. As we go up, we just keep knocking them down. Pet's just about done with that one. And we'll continue to move up. Uh, this this quest has a pretty high AC hog, um, and if you're looking to fill blanks, it's a good one to get. It's not the best, I think, for a caster, but you know, I you get to a point where you've just got to make upgrades, and this was one that I picked up, didn't use for that long. Uh, I think just it's pretty low on the on the hit points. And the man, I see it argoed quite a few, um, but they're all rooted in place, so it's nothing to worry about. This is just chain through. The main problem here that I'm, you know, sure you guys are aware of now, is the man. Um, I'm just burning through mana, and you know, when it comes time for the boss, that'll be an issue. But we'll use Death Bloom and get some of it back. It's just, it's it, it's what you got to start paying attention to in a little bit. We'll move on to the next one. Um, it will announce in a zone-wide message that I may or may not see that we waited too long to engage or something. And at that point, um, we can just come to bed. And we'll have, I think we might have even have failed the whole quest, but... We'll see how it rolls. Got lucky on this one, got some gifts. So, didn't burn through as much. But we're working our way up. You see the pet was just running off because he's pissed off at that high priest. Um, so he's constantly running up there. Not gonna use Death Blur just yet. Still have quite a few I gotta take out. Grab Gargo on that one. This will be the next one, and then we'll move to those. And uh, then we'll be ready for the High Priest. Don't have to clear anything else. Um, I'm not even sure if there's a, a special award if you do clear everything. We'll wait for this one to get down a little bit lower. We'll send the pet over. Um, looks like we've got three to go. Merc is, you know, basically 100% mana, so that's not a problem. Problem will be just for me getting my mana back enough to take down the boss. It looks like we're going to have to use Death Bloom right about now. There we go. That's not going to give us too much since we're in combat. I might uh, just send the pet on the next two. Might have been doing a little overkill. I'll just do 
damn vids and see. Yeah, we got all three. That's nice. Um, we'll park for a minute. That's the priest hitting us. Uh, my pet speed. There we go. I set my pet to the second one, not wanting him to actually go over and attack, just wanting him to queue it up. He got stuck in between two mobs, so I had to pull him back. But as you notice, we picked up about 10% of mana. Not the best, but hey, you know, we're cruising. It's still moving up. We will probably run out of mana in the fight, um, but we'll see if we can still get the W on this. <laughs> The first one's about to go. Pet attack. There we go. And, oh, that's nice. Got a gift. And we will sit for just a few minutes when we kill this goblin. We'll have to back off our pet. He'll immediately run. We don't want to do, we want to bed for just a second. So we'll keep that in mind. So far, we're on a pretty good pace, um, but we're getting pretty low on mana, so I'm not sure if it'll work out. Merc's doing just fine. Jobber, of course, is doing fine. We will uh, back him off here in just two seconds, and we will stay seated for a little longer. Maybe we can get to 40. Believe uh, the high priest, you got to be uh, belly cast just right underneath him. Um, haven't seen the message yet saying we, we messed anything up, so we'll find out. Here in just a few seconds. Gonna go ahead and go probably shortly after the next hit. Let's get up a little bit more. Companion, send them in. get that gift. I'm not going to burn through everything here um, because the next up is down there. And got lucky, got another gift. I'm hoping that's enough to take care of this. We'll find out. Probably gonna have to recast Pyre. Um, definitely low on mana. Just probably gonna be an issue when the main boss does finally spawn. But you know what? They it, it was a it was asked to show something that a group that a solo necro can do that a group does, and so that's what we're making the video for. I'm gonna recast Pyre. Redo Oblivion. And hopefully that's enough. At this point, I really don't know if sitting is helping me at all. I've never paid attention to Adamant or out of combat region versus sitting and standing, but it's kind of something I do by default. I'm um, gonna cast Damvids. Oh, yeah, good. And we got that. We're gonna redo Pyre, so this thing's definitely dead now. We're gonna head towards the main boss with 30% mana, which is not enough for a burn, but we'll get as many on there as we can. Um, which we will fight him down in that pool. Once this guy's gone.
Oh, there we go. The ceremonies lasted longer than six minutes, so we missed whatever that little time criteria was to get the best of the best. But here we go. There he is. Gonna summon, make sure Jobber's down here. He's not available just yet, but as soon as this mob becomes a there we go, and we'll get to the backside just because. Um, and we will set up our burns and get going. And see how this rolls. This is 26%. We probably, oh, get lucky, lucky on a gift, so we're going to have enough for sure to get a full dot in, which will, I mean, we're at 700,000 DPS, um, 800. This thing will drop pretty soon. Again, I forgot. <laughs> Keep forgetting to turn on tribute, but, you know. We're doing just fine. That that's it. Game over. You know we got this one. Um, there we go. Task stage complete. We killed the the main boss. Um, picked up a bunch of XP, and there's a chest for us over here. Um, click on it. Type out open. And, and this time it gave us a tier two drop. Uh, armor drop. We'll take it. We will. We will use it. We will um, attune it to ourselves, and then hit select. And this is contribute. But there it is. That's um. That's a group quest done by a solo necro. Just the pet, the healer merc, you know, it's a, it's, it's nice to be able to do that. Um, I did it at 113, and it was extremely difficult. Uh, at 115, with all the AAs, the focus, the gear, and everything that increases the damage, it's, you could tell I was, you know, making comments, being worried about um, my mana, but in the end, it just didn't matter. So. There's an example of a group quest um, that a solo necromancer can walk through. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back with another video pretty soon. These kind of things are pretty fun for me, so I've just been grinding them out. Just like you know, you always do in every quest, you just keep grinding it out. So, see you in the next video. Comment below if you've got a question you want me to try. Um, I've, I've cleared everything in Kunark. I think I, if you remember from one of my previous videos, I'm still working on progression in Ring of Scale. That cactus is bad news. Um, maybe I'll do a video of me failing that because it's it's pretty tough. Uh, me failing that just to show you guys that you know we're for as much as I talk up necros, we can't do everything. Um, anyway, that's it. See you in the next video.